Greetings, nature enthusiasts. Today, we venture into the heart of Brazil to uncover the mysteries surrounding the Surucucu of Pico de Yaca, a venomous serpent that haunts the lush landscapes. Our journey takes us down untrodden paths, through dense forest canopies, and into the realm of a creature that inspires both fear and fascination. The Surucucu, shrouded in folklore and myth, is more than just a snake. It's a symbol of the wild, untamed beauty of Pico de Yaca, a testament to the region's rich biodiversity. Over the next 10 minutes, we'll delve deeper into the life of this formidable serpent, exploring its habitat, its behavior, and its potent venom. We'll also delve into the cultural significance of the Surucucu, examining its place in local lore and the efforts being made to conserve it. Are you ready to unravel the enigma that is the Surucucu? Let's dive in. The Surucucu, a name that echoes in the folklore of the Pico de Yaca region, is more than just a snake. It is a symbol, a legend, a mystery waiting to be understood. The Surucucu, known scientifically as Lachesis muta, is one of the longest venomous snakes in the world, reaching lengths of up to 12 feet. This serpent stands out with its distinctive triangular head, sleek body, and distinct pattern of brown and black scales that provide an effective cloak in the dense undergrowth of the Pico de Jaca region. Yet, the Surucucu is more than just its physical attributes. It has woven itself into the tapestry of local folklore, leaving an indelible mark on the culture and beliefs of the people there. It's a creature of awe and fear, respect and caution, wrapped in a shroud of intrigue and mystery. In local myths and legends, the Surucucu is often portrayed as a guardian of the forest, a protector of its domain. Stories handed down through generations speak of the snake's mystical ability to control the elements, and some even believe that seeing a Surucucu is an omen of significant change. Its symbolic presence has been so impactful that it has found its way into songs, dances, and traditional art forms of the region. However, the Surucucu is not merely a character in tales of yore, it is a living, breathing part of the ecosystem of Pico de Jaca. Its role in the food chain is crucial, as it helps control the population of rodents and other small creatures. The Surucucu thus plays an essential part in maintaining the balance in its environment. Understanding the Surucucu isn't just about understanding a snake, it's about unraveling a part of the cultural and ecological fabric of Pico de Jaca. It's about recognizing the intricate connections between humans, wildlife, and the world we share. Now that you've got a glimpse into the world of the Surucucu, let's delve deeper into its natural habitat. The Surucucu thrives in the lush landscapes of Brazil, a realm teeming with diverse wildlife and unique ecosystems. This venomous serpent has mastered the art of survival in an environment that presents a constantly changing array of challenges and opportunities. The Surucucu favors the humid, dense forests of the Pico de Jaca region. It's a world of towering trees, glistening rivers, and a thick understory of vegetation. This offers the Surucucu plenty of hiding spots, the perfect places from which to launch surprise attacks on its unsuspecting prey. Yet, it's not just the forest that this snake calls home. It's also found in grasslands and even marshy areas, demonstrating its adaptability to different environments. While it may seem that the Surucucu is a solitary creature, it's actually quite social within its own kind. These snakes are known to gather in groups during certain times of the year, particularly during the breeding season. This social behavior is a testament to the complexity of their lives, far beyond what meets the eye. The Surucucu is primarily a nocturnal creature, preferring to hunt under the cover of darkness. Its diet consists mainly of small mammals, birds, and amphibians. The snake's venomous bite immobilizes its prey, allowing it to consume its meal without much struggle. It's a strategy that has served the Surucucu well, enabling it to thrive in a habitat where competition for food is fierce. Despite its fearsome reputation, the Surucucu is not an aggressive snake. When threatened, it prefers to retreat rather than attack. However, when cornered, it can deliver a potentially lethal bite. This behavior underscores the Surucucu's preference for peace over conflict, a characteristic that is often overlooked due to its venomous nature. The Surucucu's life is not without challenges. It faces threats from predators such as birds of prey, larger snakes, and even some species of mammals. However, the snake's stealth, agility, and venomous bite are its best defenses, allowing it to hold its own in the complex web of life that is the Brazilian forest. 
The Surakaku's behavior and habitat preferences provide valuable insights into its role in the ecosystem. It's a predator, yes, but it's also prey. It's a creature of the night, yet it's also a part of the day. It's a solitary hunter, but also a social being. These contradictions make the Surakuku a fascinating subject of study, a creature that defies easy categorization. As we explore its environment, we should also consider the potential dangers that this venomous creature poses. Yet let's not forget that the Surakuku is a vital part of its ecosystem, playing its role in maintaining the delicate balance of nature. It's a testament to the complexity and diversity of life on our planet, a world teeming with mystery, wonder, and endless possibilities. The Surukuku's venom is as fascinating as it is deadly. It's a potent cocktail of toxins that has intrigued scientists and terrified locals for generations. Let's explore this lethal aspect of the Surukuku, a silent but potent threat lurking in the lush greenery of Pico de Jaca. The venom of the Surukuku is a complex mixture of toxins, each with a unique and devastating effect on the body. It contains neurotoxins that can paralyze the nervous system, cytotoxins that destroy cells, and hemotoxins that disrupt blood clotting. Each bite from this serpent is not just a prick of pain, but a biological warfare unleashed. This venom is not just a weapon for the Surukuku though, it's also a tool. The snake uses it to immobilize its prey, making hunting a less strenuous task. However, when threatened, the Surakuku is capable of delivering a venomous bite to potential predators, including humans. Encounters with the Surakuku can be deadly for humans. Symptoms of a Surakuku bite can range from severe pain and swelling to paralysis, and if left untreated, they can be fatal. The potency of its venom places the Surakuku among the world's most dangerous snakes. But it's worth noting, like most wild animals, the Surakuku is more likely to flee than fight only using its venomous bite as a last resort. Scientifically, the Surakuku's venom is a goldmine for research. It's been used in studies for developing antivenoms, and even in the field of medicine for potential treatments for various health conditions, including heart disease and cancer. The Surakuku, despite its fearsome reputation, could hold the key to important medical breakthroughs. The Surakuku's venom is a testament to nature's paradoxical blend of beauty and danger. It is a reminder that even the most menacing creatures have a role to play in the grand scheme of things. They are not just mindless predators but intricate parts of our rich and diverse ecosystem. While the Surakuku's venom is deadly, its cultural significance and ecological role are equally compelling. This venomous serpent, as much as it instills fear, also sparks our curiosity and wonder for the intricate mechanisms of nature. Beyond its venom and danger, the Surakuku holds a special place in the hearts and minds of the local communities. This serpent, with its vibrant scales and hypnotic eyes, is not just a creature of the wild. It is a symbol, a legend woven into the very fabric of the culture in Pico de Yaca. The Surakuku, with its potent venom and elusive nature, has found its way into local folklore, becoming a character in tales passed down through generations. It is often portrayed as a guardian of the forest, a symbol of the untamed power and beauty of nature. These stories, rich with metaphor and symbolism, serve as a reminder of the deep respect and reverence the people of Pico de Jaca have for the Surukuku. But these tales do more than just entertain. They also impart valuable lessons about the delicate balance of nature and our role in preserving it. This is where the story of the Surukuku intersects with the efforts of conservationists. The Surukuku's habitat, the verdant forests of Pico de Jaca, is under threat from deforestation and urban encroachment. This has placed the Surakuku, and the ecosystem it is a part of, in a precarious position. Conservation efforts are now more important than ever. By protecting the Surakuku, we are not just preserving a species, but an entire ecosystem, and a culture that is deeply intertwined with it. Through initiatives such as habitat restoration, community education, and the establishment of protected areas, conservationists are working tirelessly to ensure the survival of the Surukuku. These efforts are not just about saving a single species, but about preserving the rich biodiversity of Pico de Jaca and the cultural heritage it represents. The Surukuku, a creature of myth and reality, continues to inspire awe and respect among those who dare to delve into its mysteries. As we strive to protect this remarkable serpent, let us remember the lessons it teaches us about the importance of balance in nature and the role we all play in preserving it. Our journey into the world of the Surakuku has revealed a creature that is as fascinating as it is formidable. This venomous serpent, shrouded in mystery, 
has captivated our imaginations and deepened our understanding of the rich biodiversity of the Pico de Yaca region. It's a reminder of the intricate web of life that thrives in this lush landscape, a web in which the Surakuku plays a vital role. From its influence on local folklore to its significance in the ecosystem, the Surakuku is more than just a snake. It's an emblem of the region's cultural and biological richness. Despite its fearsome reputation, this elusive creature commands respect, not fear. It serves as a symbol of the intricate balance of nature, a balance we must strive to preserve. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration of the Surakuku. Remember, every creature has a tale waiting to be told. Until next time, keep exploring.